Run in everyone. Start with Bowser's castle. Hey, Doppel. How's it going, mate? Again. Got to try a bike today. Yippee. <laughs> I'm good, mate. I'm good. I see mummy and daddy aren't in here today. Somebody from Sweden. Very possible. You never know. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's something I gotta get used to. How are you this morning, goat? You're right. One. I'm good mate just chilling with some Mario Kart for work Um, as of next week, I'm going back to Thursdays. I've got Thursdays off from uh, next week. And Sunday, I've got to work this one. But after that, it should be alright for a few weeks. It should be a stream on Sunday, but it'll probably be just a morning one. <laughs> hey, nice one. No, no, I've, I've spoke to him about it. It's getting slightly annoying now.
Oh no, it's it's nothing like they'll watch it. It's just the fact that yo, we signed um contracts. You know, on all social networks. It's very um standard procedure now. I should have let that go. No, he doesn't take it personally. They understand the needs of the business. Yeah, everyone's in the same boat, to be honest. Bike's a bit slow, eh? No, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I explained to him that I have um, therapy on um, on a Thursday, and there's been a couple of times where things are propped up, so I haven't been able to go. And they've said that if I miss any more, I'll be kicked off the course, which isn't good for me, isn't good for work, isn't good for anyone. So they've made it a point now to give me Thursdays off, no matter what. So we should be a bit more consistent after this week. Good start. In a fashion, yeah, I mean... No, I mean, I could, I could be kicked off the course, like my therapy course, which means... You know, I could get ill again. I mean, I don't want that, but... 
it's very much a possibility. So they've, you know, they've put it, they've put it so I've definitely got Thursdays off from now on. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is. Right, let's change this bike. I'm happy with it. We'll try that. Let's see what this bathtub's like. I think it would as well. At the moment, anyway. the bitch. I've got more my own shell. I'll start playing someone else soon, guys. Oh, it is, it is. Mine's 10 points. Wow. <sighs> 
It's embarrassing, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's possible, mate. It's... How do I put it? Um, I'm pretty sure when you rank up, they give you like more experienced drivers. <laughs> so I think I'm plateauing around the two and a half thousand points mark. Because I've seen guys that have like obviously four thousand. Almost 5,000 points. Wow. The unique Grizz. No. What if you have if you have it's all luck, I assure you. By that same sh Goomba. Goomba. Even dance to the music. We missed it that time. Was that last place? No. Not far off though. That's right, that's why the music reminds me of level two. Of course you go down to the pipes. Oh my days.
say that, that is one game that I think would frustrate the hell out of me. I've seen some guys play play the expert levels on that. Wow. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. The amiibos. Oh, that collection's forever growing. Everything's everywhere in here right now. It's got to get. It's, I've got to clean out. Possible. We never know. Yeah, it's certainly looking that way. <laughs> oh, you bastard! I'll be happy with a mid-table result right now.
Fuck. somewhere on the leaderboard oh, make coffee guys Finish making that coffee in a minute. <laughs> but you're right, mate. Third place, it is a miracle. A third place again, guys. Thank you. 
cute kitten dies, well, that's just a sacrifice I'm willing to make. See where we end up next. Them two are fine. <laughs> they're still around somewhere. I think they're enjoying the heat at the moment, I promise. Third place again. No, I mean, Smokey's name is because of her fur. Um, honestly, she's got the most wonderful fur, but it's very gray and brown at the same time. Like the other day, I was walking home and she was sitting in the middle of the road. I couldn't see her because she was the same colour as the tarmac. Your dog's name's Buster. And Coco's got a name because she as a as a kitten, she was so expensive. Um She almost died at one point she wasn't growing and to be honest, i thought she was maybe just a naturally small cat we fed her we fed her and fed her it would it would so yeah i mean she was eating but she just wasn't gaining weight and we found out she had a severe case of worms I mean, she's better now. I mean, she's actually the biggest one out of the two. Sometimes you need gloves to handle her. Mm -hmm. 
So she sees a hand called to stroke her, she likes to bite it. Yeah, that's Buster. Um, he's a staffy with Rottweiler colours. They're basically known as Devil Dogs, but... Right, he's soft as anything. Although I never put it past him to attack someone. I think you he heard his name because he's just outside that door. They are. As long as you train them right. Yeah. As long as you train them right. They're good dogs. Very protective of children. I ain't too sure if it was the 17 or the 1800s. Um, Staffies used to be nanny dogs. Well, like, mum and dad go out, go out to work, and the dog would look after the children. Yeah, Staffordshire Terriers would look after the animal. Well, would look after the kids. That's why they're so good around children.
Yeah, Staffordshire Bull Terriers. These days they use as status dogs more than anything, but back in the day, yeah. Let's have get it up. Someone had the same idea as me. Say not again. I saw that banana there. Yeah, it is smaller than most. I think he might be a runt, but he's still strong.
<laughs> Sorry, I like that laugh. in the clusterfuck. Uh, tradi traditionally, yes. Don't tell anyone. Shh. Hey, Miss Chief, how's it going, mate? Haven't seen you in ages. Victor with 6,000 points. Wow. Hey, don't worry about it, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone's welcome to do as they please in this channel. We've been reason. Yes, mate. Um, even though I'm no good at it, it really is good. I mean, I love... I love the um, portability of the Switch. The games that are on it right now, I mean, I'm still playing Zelda at work. <laughs> yeah, jazz baby. Yeah, still playing Zelda at work. And the Neo Geo Classics are good on it as well. Tell you what, they're a perfect fit for the for the switch. Well, I work when I um on my lunch breaks kind of thing.
when I do eventually get one. Does double yeah. for once. Good, good, nice one. <laughs> yeah, um, I hope it corrects the common misconceptions of stuffies. Yeah, it's all bullshit. I think if you've got a stuffy or a rotty. You know it's no. It's in the training. No, it's how you treat the dog. Gonna, I knew that was going to happen. Basically. They really are loving dogs. guys just make with the last coffee of the day and i said that slowly purely for you doppel
He's amazing with the cuts. Mm, the cats love him. God damn it. No, no, very true. I mean, my favourite course changes all the time. I'm really enjoying ball. Oh. I've always liked Wildwood since it came out in the D DLC. Um, excited by. I think because I've played this so much now, it's starting to get a little repetitive. And tomorrow I'm going to start a little earlier, I think. Try something new. Um, I mean, I'm a huge fan of the Telltale games. So I'm going to start streaming a little earlier, so I've got some time to play an episode of each. Well, sorry, to play the episodes. And then if there's time to spare, come back to Mario Kart after that. It is. That's what I like about it, because it, it changes. Yeah. I played Season 1. I've played that on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So I'm going to move on to Season 2, I think. I think Season 1 was one of the best games I've ever played. The emotion in that. Like right, that final episode. Wow. Yeah, I bought that bundle for cheap recently. The um, the one that comes with all the Telltale uh, series in it. So you got Walking Dead series one and two, Game of Thrones. This is like 
The Wolf Among Us. <laughs> well, I'm going to start concentrating the game again. What's it called? The final front? No, it's not the final frontier, is it? A bloody Star Trek. New frontier. That's it. Final frontier. Christ. Yeah, I like the fact that you got a new family in that. Even though I think he's still around in it. Um... It's just quite big, isn't it? There's some shows um, at The Walking Dead as well. Batman, the Batman one appeals to me, Miss G, but I agree on the Game of Thrones. There's too much bloody hype around Game of Thrones right now. Walking Dead. Um... I used to enjoy it, and I think it got silly. Well, not silly, just boring, really. I think Game of Thrones is only popular because everyone's watching it. Yeah, no one wants to miss out kind of thing. You know that's always the case, Miss Chief. You know, it's, films are the same. whole character can be perceived as different purely because maybe another character has been left out or they've missed one element of the story. Like, one of my favourite films, well, and books, is High Fidelity. It perceives Rob Gordon, I'm pretty sure his name is Rob Fleming in the books, to be um, you know, a bit of a jealous prick at times. But they miss out one character, which explains a lot. He's jealous of this guy called T-Bone. Who is one of his love interests, guitar players. The only reason why I'm so slow at all this is because I haven't watched it in a long time. 
But yeah, he's jealous. But you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know the context of it because the character's been left out. I mean, the film adaptation is brilliant, but... Yeah. Both. There's a guy... Um... In the movie, there's a guy left out called T-Bone. Whereas in the book, he's basically shown to make Rob jealous. Of his good looks, of his guitar playing events, yeah, ability, sorry, his... um, He wants to know if he's been sleeping with... Where's the name? She's played by Lisa Burnett in, in the film. Marie DeSalle. Yeah, you know, have they slept together? And it shows you the jealous side, but in the film, it just shows you sometimes Rob being a jealous guy about the context. But that's films anyway. You know, they have to cut things out. I mean, you can't put a ten-hour book into a two-hour film, it just doesn't fit. Interesting. What a clusterfuck. I, I recommend the book. Sneaky bastard. Well, do you know what? I'm not going to say anything. I'm doing really well on this course. You know, I'm happy in fourth place. Then this goes nothing. Oh yeah, the film's good. I mean, it had Nick Hornby's blessing behind it. The only thing they were worried about with the film is that it was based in London, where they had to move to Chicago. And Nick Hornby said like, you know what? He didn't give a shit where it was. It's more about the relationships and all that not the actual city itself.
But oh, my dog was barking like crazy then. I don't know. To me, Game of Thrones is very much just a, you know, a soap opera with ticks, incest, and midgets. Yeah, it's got its water cooler moments in it, but. I'm just saying that I'm not, I don't watch a lot of TV to be honest. You know, there's a lot of um, going on. Families at war. I've never read the books. I've heard they're meant to be really good though. Get me back now. Someone who's seen the show. It's probably why I'm not into it so much. God damn it. I do. Well, I've always liked Nick Hornby books. Yeah, he he wrote um about a boy. Pitch perfect. Not just for the jealous character, just to show if you're a huge fan of the film, it explains a bit more, but that's just books in general anyway. I should pick up the books really, Game of Thrones. I need to get a bit more culture in my life, shall we say. Nintendo Boy. Big Foots in Air. It's not essential. I mean, my favourite film of all time is Fight Club. And do you know what? For that reason, I'm afraid to, to read the book. 
but I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the film because I think it's a fucking fantastic film. No, and there should be. It's. Do you know what? I, I strongly believe that's why I struggle with words because I haven't read a book in years. Ooh, that were close. Yeah. Nice, you're absolutely right, mate. the guy that rose it was it chuck paladin i'm sure his first name was chuck anyway Palinuk. Oh, that's not a fucking strange name, eh? Palinuk. 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 Okay. Right, guys, this has to be the last race today. But yeah, tomorrow, we're going to start streaming from 9 a.m. And we make a start on Walking Dead Season 2. guys I'm gonna leave it there let's see who we can host who is on for us the host on again.
to um, host, it's something I like to do for you guys, to be honest. This is Frankie. And other streamers. I mean, two girls, one game. She, she's nuts, but she's lovely. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, how do we spell that? Right. Two girls, one Does game. Does Frankie look different? Did you find your phone? You need me to do it again? I'll ping you again on Discord. Oh, look at it. He's so itchy. Itchy pussy. Right, guys. Take care. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. They're saying you look And I will see today. you tomorrow morning for some Walking Dead. Two girls, one cup. Happily. What a romantic film. Catch you later, guys. Have what? a good one. Bye bye.